we're gonna lower the board. stuff down at the bottom. Oh, yeah. And I try and remember my, to remove my rings at this point because otherwise you get the dough all gunked in there. doesn't have that much consistency sort of glops apart. So as we knead it, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building up the gluten. And that will make it into what we know as bread. And if you've ever seen seitan in the store, that's actually wheat gluten. It's not bread. They sort of separate it out. Or some people cannot tolerate gluten, and then you kind of run into a different problem there. And you need to come up with special breads. And you need to add things to hold it together because gluten is a very useful feature of wheat and wheat-like products because it provides a sort of elasticity and a texture that is really good for when you're making baked goods, especially breads and things like that. When you try and make um, make bread with things that aren't glutinous, then you're, you're ending up trying to, you need to bring in other things like um, guar gum or other things to provide that consistency. And as you can see, it's coming together much more. It doesn't sort of fall all over the place. It's getting close to being what I would call done on this stage. For, as you need is you're going to get basically elasticity in the, in the dough. So it's going to hold itself together and when you poke it you'll note how it sort of comes back out. So just by doing this kneading motion you, you stretch the gluten which sort of helps it develop. So just push it out, fold it over in half, push it out, just keep on going. And uh, if you have problems getting it really well kneaded, sometimes like, if you put it on a lower table or if you have a little step stool stand on the step stool, you can get more angle into it so you can push it a little bit harder and the kneading will go faster. And I keep on throwing a little bit of flour on the, the board because I don't want it sticking too much. It's a mess. And also you want to have enough flour in the dough itself. So as you need, the, everything that's in the dough goes sort of <laughs> from the inside to the outside. And uh, so any dry, damp parts that are on the inside come out and uh, you can coat them with flour as you flour the board. And I think we're there. So you can see it's sort of a smoother texture. That works. And it holds its shape. And when you put your fingers in, it comes back out. 
So we have some dough. So I'm going to put it back in the bowl. And then in this stage, it's going to raise again for another hour. But you don't want to get it all dry. And if you don't cover it, you're going to end up with sort of a crust on the outside, which is a bother. Cover it with that, and that keeps it damp in there, and you don't end up with the crusting on the upper, upper edges there. 